What's happening, everybody? Welcome back. This is Forgo. And before we get into this video, guys, I just want to say that, you know, in the last video, I was saying that I was disappointed with Dr. Octopus, but I never said that I thought he was a bad character or that he wasn't strong. In fact, I did say that he was a strong character. He just wasn't strong enough, at least in my humble opinion. And I do realize that, you know, not every character is going to be a meta in our updates. It's just the problem that I'm having, you know, right now, not with just Dr. Octopus, but with a lot of characters, is the fact that we keep getting characters that are are strong right but they're just not strong enough they're just not pushing that envelope and it's really no different with dr octopus that doesn't mean that he isn't a great character it doesn't mean that he isn't strong it doesn't mean that he isn't easy to play he's actually all of those things he's very strong he's very easy to play very proc friendly which is something that i did make a mistake about in my last video right he's actually much easier to play than what i actually thought he was but that's only because i played him just for a little bit right it was just my initial impressions of the character he's actually actually a lot better than what i actually gave him credit for but as far as damage i still wish he had a little bit more he doesn't need to be super meta breaking or just a little bit more than what he is as i'll show you guys in a little bit now i mean first of all guys he looks awesome like aesthetically god i mean look at the tentacles like these things look amazing the detail is beautiful i mean he's a gorgeous looking character right and for a lot of players he's going to do very very well for them he has forty-two thousand, almost forty-three thousand physical attack i'm ranked 597 guys he's got a pretty good rank on him he's got pretty much max attack stats or max stats set up for him his dodge is pretty much maxed out and we are going to be running a rage on him because i was using this guy in squad battle but now that he's a combat i'm not going to i'll probably end up using electro who looks actually extremely strong and look at his build i mean i got one two three four odin's blessing on him i have mythic physical attack urus on this guy and i do have uh 77 physical attack on my cards and 22 percent pierce now they did a lot for the character they gave him the chain of damage which is amazing right he's got accumulation on his awakened skill it's only 0.5 percent i wish this was one percent i mean honestly if it was one percent i'd probably be pretty a little bit happier with him but still his third skill does give him immunity, and this third skill, whenever he does it, he gets that 200% damage proc from his uniform, and it can be transferred over into his other skills, which is great. That means you get that extra 200% proc on your awakened skill or on your fourth skill. His four gives him a little paralysis, gives him capitation and invincibility, which is really nice to keep him from getting guard broken against Null, and then the fifth skill gives him a 40% all attack, right? Very, very good. And then he has a 40% increase of physical attack and a decreased damage received, which is actually very good for this character because he can die. Like, he doesn't have the greatest survivability. He's got good survivability because he does have a heal whenever he does Tentacle Shockwave, which is his third skill. The problem with it is it's on a 10 second cooldown. That's kind of the thing that sucks is that this is actually on a 10 second cooldown. And the skill itself is actually on a seven and a half second cooldown so i really wish they would have put the heel just on the skill itself instead of in the uniform that, that is a bit of a complaint i do have with the character i mean you can keep him alive but you got to play very carefully you got to watch out because whenever he does his fourth skill especially against null he can take damage guys he isn't in an iframe he is exposed and he can take a lot of damage his leadership just still gives him the hp increase now as far as the rotation it's actually very very simple and what we're going to do today guys is we'll see what he does with the rage and then we'll slap a ctp of energy on him and see what he does even though i think a mighty ctp of destruction or a ctp of destruction might be a better choice for him but literally all you gotta do is go three five and then awaken skill put the proc on the awaken skill and yeah He'll do some really, really good damage. What I was doing before was I was actually canceling the Awakened skill, which you don't want to do. You don't, you'll actually do less damage if you do that. And then in the next rotation, you're just going to go three, five, four. Right? You get the uniform bonus right here, which is awesome. You get the heal. And But whenever you do that four, you're not in an iframe. You're out in the open. So whenever the tentacles slam down, they can do a lot of damage to you, man. That is something you need to be very, very careful about. I do think it's a good uniform, guys. Like, like it really does go a long way that a, play, a character is so uh, proc friendly. And then he has a fully awakened Power Ranger Elk set. And he has a CTB of Rage. And then he has a Mythic uniform. You know, I did put a lot into this guy. And as far as uniform options, you got Sabretooth, trash uniform at this point in the game. You have Sharon Rogers, which is an awesome uniform. And then you have Super Giant, 
which is also another awesome uniform, which is great. Trash uniform. And then you have Ghost Rider, which is a very good uniform. So, so he's got some pretty good uniform uh, options, which is actually nice. Now, we'll go ahead and we'll try to run a little War Boss here, guys, against Null. And we're actually going to go against Stage 35 using a Rage, right? And we're going to see what the damage we do with the Rage is on my account. And then we'll slap a CTP of Energy on him and see what he can do then, right? So we're going to use Ultron because Ultron does give the extra basic attack by 55% to Technokinetic Allies, which... Luckily, Dr. Octopus is, and that's actually really good because Ultron is a free-to-play character. He is fairly strong. He does offer a good leadership. So if you do develop um, Dr. Octopus, he is going to get a really good leadership from Ultron, which is actually really great, especially whenever you're facing against the villain stage. Now, a, a little bit of a caveat to Dr. Octopus is that he doesn't have any ignore dodge in his kit other than the 70% ignore dodge on his awakened skill. So like whenever we're using our regular skills, where you're not gonna have a lot of ignore dodge, and whenever you're facing these villain stages like this, I mean, whenever you're just facing villains, there is no ignore dodge striker that you can use. You can use Proxima if you want, but I'm just gonna go ahead and use Ultron. And then we're going to use these damage as super villains. Now, that's going to be something else that's going to be nice about having a CTP of energy or a mighty CTP of destruction because at least you're going to get some ignore dodge from either one of those two. All right, so we're going to do that again because he died. And that is something you're going to find with Dr. Octopus, especially when you're pushing higher levels uh, in World Boss, is that his survivability isn't the greatest because that heals on a 10-second cooldown. It's kind of an annoying thing to deal with. And his force skill always leaves him exposed out in the open. So... Whenever there's toxic meteorites on the ground or whenever the tentacles are slamming down, he takes a lot of damage and it's it it really does kind of suck. So you have to play with them very carefully and avoid all these uh, attacks that are coming at him. So like right there, we just got hit by the tentacle and we took some damage, right? And also whenever the cage shows up, you want to make sure that you know, you're not standing in toxic meteorites his movement speed isn't bad. It's actually a little misleading because it looks like he's going really slow, but he takes large, large strides whenever he's walking. So he's actually moving a lot faster than what we actually think. And we're taking damage from that toxic meteorite. Ooh. There we go. Perfect. He does go in a little bit of an eye frame at the very beginning of that four. So if you can time things correctly, you won't take as much damage. But, I mean, guys, with the Rage, like, Dr. Octopus is not going to do stage 35 on my account. It won't happen. Like, he's just not doing enough damage, right? And, you know, in all honesty, you know, most characters with Rages just don't do that well in World Boss Legend. They just don't, right? We all know that to be true. We all know that the CTP of Energy or the Mighty CTP of Destruction just perform a lot better on most characters. I mean, like, characters like Shang-Chi are kind of rare where they actually play better with a rage you actually get more damage out of them i mean he's gonna die guys he is like really really okay i just wanted to kind of back away there so we didn't take any damage we got a little bit of a heal we're going into our iframe and look at look at where we're at here okay i mean we have already killed two minutes we don't want to step in that purple there we want to be careful here and we has still haven't completed this yet. Now, obviously, I'm pretty sure that whenever we use a CTP of energy, we're going to do more damage, guys, because we're going to have more ignore dodge. It's going to make a big, big difference. Okay, I saw that. Whoa. And voila, right? I mean, that took two minutes and 30 seconds. That is way too slow to be doing this. Way too slow to be able to clear this stage, right? And, you know, in a way that's to be expected. I know on other accounts you guys are going to see him do better, but the truth is those other accounts are better developed than mine. I have 77% physical attack, right? And I know that's a good amount of physical attack, but it's not a lot compared to these other accounts that have 22% pierce and have 25% pierce like me, but they have like 100% physical attack or they have 120% or more. It makes a big, big difference. So let's switch out his obelisk and we will slap on a, now I could put a mighty on him, 
But uh, I'm just going to slap on a regular seat. Well, actually, this has only got 160% proc. So I think what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and slap this one on here because it's actually going to give him a 200% damage proc. It's going to give him an extra pierce by 5%. We'll go ahead and put that on, guys. Why not? And now we have some extra ignore dodge, right? We have a the extra ignore dodge by 35 percent and that will help a little bit and since our critical damage is going to be maxed out from putting that ctp of energy on dr octopus what we can do is we can go ahead and switch around this gear take that critical damage off and change it to critical rate critical rate there we go that way we get a little bit more damage out of them do some more critical hits so what do we got now? So now his critical rate's at 61%, a little bit better. So let's see what he does with the mighty CTP of energy, right? All right, so we're going to do that again because the game actually crashed on me, no surprise. Uh, the emulator crashes quite a bit on me, unfortunately. All right, so let's see the damage difference between having the CTP of energy versus the CTP of rage. So we're going to build up that meter first. Okay. Nice. Build up the meter again. Whoa. Okay. Okay, so we're in the toxic meter, right? That's not good at all. We're going to take a lot of damage here. Get our heal. I mean, I will say, guys, I can already see a pretty big difference uh, using the CTP of energy. Uh, on him compared to the CTP of rage. But man, woo, he taking a lot of damage. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Nice. Got our uniform bonus. Man, I mean, he does have some good damage. I mean, he definitely is a strong character. There's no doubt, guys. He's a strong character. I just, you know, I want a little bit more, but I got to say, with the CTP of energy, he's doing so much better right now. Like, he's putting out way more damage. Like, look at this. This is way more than what he was doing a second ago. Try not to take any damage. Get our heal. I could have attacked earlier, but I wanted to make sure I got my heal because it's on that cooldown. I mean, wow. Woo, woo, woo. We got hit pretty hard there. Let's run up, run, run, run. I mean, look at this, guys. I mean, this is a big difference, right? About a minute 30, right? A little bit better run, about a minute 30 compared to two minutes and 30 seconds with the CTP of Rage. This is a huge improvement for Dr. Octopus. Like, he's well on pace to be able to do stage 35, which is good, especially for a free-to-play character. It really is, right? Not only is he probably going to be an ABX meta, but he's actually, he's actually really good in World Boss Legend. I just personally wanted a little bit more for the character, but he is strong. He is good. But man, he takes a lot of damage. Lord have mercy. Come on, come on, come on. And he's going to outrun all. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so we're going to run away because Pokey's going to do his attack here. We're probably going to die. Oh, maybe not, maybe not. Cool. We're going to build up our meter. Okay, we're going to build up our meter again, and... Nice, nice. Moving into the next phase. I mean, really, the biggest thing is just trying to keep him alive. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It is nice. He's got that invincibility on that fourth skill. So he doesn't get guard broken. Oh, yeah. Nice. Good damage. Nice. 
Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Run away, run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. Okay, get behind, oh boy. I mean, he's doing really good. Really good. I mean, especially for stage 35. It's honestly pretty impressive. I don't want to use my awakened skill. Although maybe I maybe I should. Whip. Yeah, yeah, he died. I tried tanking that, but yeah, he died right there. I tried tanking that, but he died. But he can absolutely do this stage. He can absolutely do it. I was hoping I could like get him down to that seventh bar, but nah, not quite. But still, pretty damn impressive, right? I mean, he is a strong character. He is a good character. And, you know, I think, and, and I, well, I know a lot of players are going to be very, very happy with him. It's just that, you know, for like a veteran like myself, you know, it, he's he's going to be useful in ABX, and I'm actually very thankful for that because I already have the character Awakened. I'm actually very happy, and I don't have Kingpin. So I'm going to be able to use this guy in ABX, and that's actually that's actually really good. The problem I always have with ABX is, one, the rewards aren't that good, and that we only do it every other, you know, two weeks with our combat super villain, right? That's kind of the thing that sucks about it is you don't really play him that much. But for a lot of players, he's going to be a really great character. I mean, even without any Pierce on your account, I'm pretty sure he's going to get a clear for you against Null and probably even Mephisto, to be perfectly frank, guys, even though he's going to have a type disadvantage. Uh, so, I mean, he is solid. He is strong. He's a very, very easy character to play. I just wish, like, I, I think my biggest complaint is, one, I wish they would have just gave him a little bit more accumulation. Just give him 1%. That would have been just enough of a difference. He's, it would have made him just a little bit better. It wouldn't have made him super overpowered, but it would have made him a little bit better. And I wish they would have put this uh, uniform effect either... Didn't have a cooldown on this thing. Like, just use whenever you use the tentacle shockwave. You get the heal and tumors and damage proc. Either that or just or just have, you know, this on a skill. Either way, it would have made him just a little bit better, right? And those are really my two biggest complaints about the character. But he is a solid character. And I do think a lot of people are going to be very, very happy with him. You know, you never really know how good characters are until you actually play them or actually, you know, change their builds, change their obelisk to see how well it can perform. There is a huge difference between having this obelisk and having a CTP of rage on him. Even if I didn't have the mighty and it didn't have any Pierce guys, it would have made a big, big difference having that CTP of energy. He actually played extremely well with it. Huge improvement. So let me know what you guys think about Dr. Octopus. And I do stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. GT plus 7 time. The link is in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching, y'all. Take care and have a good one. See everybody.